Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So uh, first I wanted to say hello and um, today is Tuesday night so I'm recording for Wednesday so you guys will see this Wednesday morning but I will say that uh, Wayne's surgery went really well and he is home and he's doing great. He's recovering. Um, he is doing just fantastic actually. Um, He's, he's just doing really well. So thank you all for all of your warm thoughts and well wishes. I appreciate it. He appreciates it. Um, I'm just grabbing some fabric here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this fabric down. And um, I'm going to use this as a base drop. And then I'm going to put the spine on top of it. Instead of using paper. Um, so it was kind of an outpatient treatment, um, oh. okay, so I had to mute my mic because I had to sneeze, um, but anyway, so it was an outpatient treatment, so it wasn't like too, too bad. Um, we went in in the morning and, um, we got done by let's see I think we left out of there like right at four which was really good because um, we ended up missing the Charleston five o'clock traffic because we were in Charleston and um, so it wasn't you know it wasn't too too bad coming home um, let's see I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this because I can't put fabric tack right here well I can it's just not going to do anything so I'm going to put fabric tack over here and over here. I feel like that's way too big. Anyway, so how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm actually pretty excited to work on this album here. Um, it's been a while since I've made an album for myself. Yeah, I would put way too much on that. Uh, it's been a long time since I've made an album for myself. And I still don't know if I'm going to keep it myself or not, but let go of my pen. Does this glue often steal your pen? I did not want to let go of my pen. I'm still learning the ins and outs of this glue. All right, so this is down, and then we're gonna put um, these on top of that. That. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Pull this up and put it down like that. Ugh, this is not working. Why are you not working? Okay. There it is. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And on both sides because I don't want it to stick yet because I need to put glue inside the you guys can't see what I'm doing I've got you too far up I think I'm trying to move the camera because I accidentally moved the camera earlier and it changed all kinds of things and oh. anyway <clears throat> So I'm just going to peel this up because I need to put fabric down into the crease of this a little bit so it folds properly. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put that down and then we're going to push it.
go. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. white glue back on my plastic tape. Alright. So anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. Hope you're enjoying the holiday. I don't know what you guys are doing for your holiday. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. Which is, well, today for you guys. Which is weird. So I went and got my nails done, as you can see. Because um, we just needed to self quarantine before the surgery. So, as soon as he, well, not as soon as he got home, but he was taking a nap today. So I figured I would go ahead and go while he's taking a nap. Now, so making sure this is moving the way that I want it to, make sure it's nice and fluid in its movements. Okay, and then put this one down. This is a cover mat. Well, let's do this one first. So this is going to be our, our pages. So it's going to go straight down like that. Actually, I don't think it really matters which one goes first because they all go on there. Just the same. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this just because it gives me a little bit more time to play around with it. And there is no up or down yet, so we just want to make sure that it's centered. And looks like that is about right. that down. There we go. Now our pages are in our book. Okay. I'm going to put this one here. really have too much too exciting to talk about honestly because yesterday we um we got up and we went to the hospital um let's see we got there at 11 15 we didn't get home until after five because we had stopped to get dinner on the way because i because neither one of us had eaten all day because he's not allowed to eat before the surgery right and well I just, I hadn't eaten all day because I don't typically eat before noon. Um, that's just how I've been doing it for the past couple weeks. And um, so I didn't even think about the fact that, you know, we were leaving the house before noon and I was going to be stuck at the hospital. And it wasn't actually a hospital. It was an EMT specialty clinic um, where they do you know, the surgeries and such. And so if there was like no cafeteria or anything like that. Um, so it was just 
you know, I had to wait until after, after we were done. Anyway, so I asked him, I was like, well, what do you want? He's like, Bojangles. I was like, seriously? <laughs> so, so we had Bojangles for dinner last night. But luckily I was able to eat, you know, what I wanted because I hadn't eaten all day. So the calories really weren't that big of a deal. But I did not have any today. <laughs> Bloop. Oh, fall down, go boom. Alright. Cover mat over here. getting a book together. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Not a big fan of the this particular paper though because it's cracking and I don't like that. And But what I did say at the very beginning is it is older paper um, so uh, I have much better quality paper to use for covers but I don't necessarily have much better quality paper to use for covers in fall because um, most of my fall and autumn stuff is from years ago so I haven't bought new fall paper in a while but I have um, like rice papers and such that could work so we could definitely look at that maybe for some of the pages or for some of the decorations on the pages. Um, so that would definitely work. But I can I can fix this spine. I'll show you guys how to do that too. We'll probably do that because I don't really have any other plan for these pages just yet. I just knew I hadn't recorded anything today so I wanted to get on here, turn the camera on, and get this little bit done so um, we can work on the pages because once it's done, this part's done, you can pretty much do the pages like any other photo album. You just decorate as you go. You can do like a little bit at a time. You can do a whole page at a time. You know, whatever your heart desires, really. Here we go. Oh, this is looking really nice. All right, let's see what we can do for this. Um, I've got some pretty wide lace. I might be able to wrap around this. I don't know how wide it is, but. Oh, that would actually work pretty perfectly. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, um, and we're just gonna make it exactly the length of the book. So it's not going to, well, it probably could wrap around. No, not really. All right. So we're going to cut here and then we'll trim it up when it's done. All right. So I just grabbed an extra wide cream colored lace, nothing fancy, nothing like that screams shabby chic or nothing like that because it's not really a shabby chic journal or book. I'm just trying to mend my cracks in my paper here. We're actually going to put this part on first. Let's 
so I can get it even. Where's my bag? Here it is. Alright. And then we'll put our book back together. And I think I'm going to put the glue on the leaf. Just so I know that I don't get glue all over the place. which I'm probably going to get glue all over the place anyway. Because I do that. It's fine. And I'm just using a plastic bag to push everything down just so I don't get fabric tack all over my fingers. It's not my favorite feeling in the whole world. Oh, wait. But yeah, so Wayne's doing good. He's being very stubborn. Because he's not supposed to do anything for the next couple days. He's literally supposed to just sit in bed and relax. You know, bed rest. That thing that so many women have had to endure over the their lives. And he keeps trying to get up and doing things. I was like, will you just go? Like, go lay down. Sleep. Like, I'm constantly telling you not to sleep in the middle of the day because you'll mess up your sleep cycle. Now I'm telling you to sleep and you don't want to sleep. I'm confused. I think he just wants to not feel helpless. I think, if I had to guess. Alright, so we're going to let that dry a little bit. But, I actually think that turned out really nice. I like that. Oh! I also have something I completely forgot. Oh. Uh, Where'd you go? There you are. So I have another, I have an Etsy share while we're sitting here waiting for this to dry because I'm going to let it dry before I cut it. Um, so this one is, I don't remember what store you are, but I got some fall um, clusters and I think these might be them. They are. Um, so this is the Gramsci shop again. Um, I absolutely love her clusters. Uh, they're amazing, and um, that's what this is. This is the Gramsci shop, and I will put the link in the description, but I wanted to look and look through these that I just got um, because I had gotten some fall-ish colored ones. I mean, they're not specifically advertised as fall, but they're definitely autumn colored, and so I wanted to say, try to see, you know, if anything kind of popped out but aren't these gorgeous I love these like I can't I can't get these or use these fast enough they're just they're stunning I like that one that one's nice but I think I like that one the best so far for sure Oh, look at that one. She's so pretty. The butterfly. Oh, look at the gems. I love these. Like I said, I can't use these fast enough. Like, I had gotten a bunch like this from my last order, and, like, there's not very many left out of that. Oh, I like the clock. The clock is nice. I like the clock a lot, actually. This is also Gramsci. Do I like this? I think we're going to put that right there, right in the middle. Oh, 
Oh, this one's nice too. Happiness is a state of mind. Look at those colors. I like that one. Okay. All right. It's decided. We're going to do this one. I'll take this off. Um, don't need that. I'm just going to fabric tack the whole kit and caboodle. Or not. Whee. Yeah, no, I completely forgot about that. Like I said, I wanted to just come on here and turn the camera on. And I knew that I wanted to share that too. And then I was just like, oh, poop, I forgot. So we're just going to squish. I'm going to squish that down. I love this. Happiness is a state of mind. Very, very cute. And I like the bows. Because y'all know I can't tie bows. <laughs> My bows end up very funky. Alright, so. Let's see. I'm going to trim this up. You know, I might actually put something right here, like a, a name plate or something, the length of it, so it'll have some, like when you put it on the shelf. Hmm. I don't know, maybe. I'm going to put these in this bag so they don't get damaged or anything. Um, while I keep this up, and she might get her own envelope. I love this store. And she's got really quick shipping, and she's a very, very sweet lady very sweet but it's Gramsie's shop and again I will put her link in the description for you guys because she's amazing and y'all need to go check her out for sure um, all right let's see and that crackle that's pretty normal because it's a paper bound uh, binding or not binding but a paper cover book and then we've got our four pages right there. All right, so let's see. What do we want to do for our first page? Let's figure that out. So I know that I want to kind of stagger these. Like this. Every other page is a different one. Like that. I still don't get it. I still don't get this. Like it's so trippy in the camera. All right. So we can use three by five or three by. We can use 4x6 cards to map this, um, or we can use, um, see I didn't even use this, this was the spine piece. That's funny. Um, or we can just cut the pieces from the paper. So let's cut out some of these other pieces that I've got set aside to be in the pages. Um, we've got some pockets, um, some flip outs, uh, belly bands. This one here is a belly band. This one is also a belly band. The 
this one, but okay. And these have all been triced already. Um, sorry, I'm looking for my scissors, my, my little scissors. But I've lost them. Uh, oh, they were hiding. They were exactly where they were supposed to be. They were just hiding. Oh, I see. So we can think about what we want to do with that first page. I do want to pocket. Um, I'm not sure if I want to pocket on the first page or not, but I don't think that it would be bad. I think that it would be cute. Okay. And we're going to have to score these as well. Uh, this one is a pocket. Minus a half an inch from the height. Hmm. What was I going for on this one? wonder what I was thinking with that thing. This is going to be a partial waterfall. It's only going to be a two flat waterfall. I might be able to make a third. I'm not sure. going to line this up to where it scores. Right along that. We could do that first. I kind of want to make doors. We could make doors. Let's see. So if we put this on this first page here, like this, and we put these two, you know, let's play it with this, this way. We put these two right here. We could make a pocket right here. And we could magnetize because it's because it's not um, hmm. I'm gonna say because it's not very thick, we could magnetize it. Let's see. We could put a pocket here. Um, I'm grabbing this. Now, a lot of her kits, you can just um, print them out, but 
I think because I've been doing journals so much, I've just been like gauging this way or that way with the pockets. All right, so I think I want to do that high. Okay. And we can go straight across and make that a pocket. All right. Actually, I want to make a border. So, let's see, how can I do that with a pocket? Um, I don't have a border print that I'm aware of. I'm just looking behind me at my punches. Um, I have this one. That might be cute. Let's see, what do you do? That might be too much though. Let's go right on the edge here. I'll flip it over so I can see it. Alright. I'll do this one. And then oh, let me do just a slight. Um no, I think that'll be good. Pull it up like that. Feel it here and here. And we have a pocket. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Um, I have brads I can use. I'll probably pull those out um, after this video so they're nice and ready and waiting. Alright, and then we can put these two like this to cover that pocket. Okay, I like this. I, I am digging this. Alright, so let's find something to go here and here. Um, so we're just going to grab our paper again. That's pretty. That's nice. Use that. Alright. So we're going to grab that and then we're going to need our binder Oi. or I can just throw it and that works too because I need page 30 here. We're going to put you, let's see which part do we want. I kind of want this red here, but I want this right here. I think that'll work really well. All right, let's do this corner. Okay. Let's go with my paper. All right, let's see. Do we have a smaller trimmer? Ah, I do. Oh, this one's actually a trimmer and a scoreboard all in one. Uh, I don't really have a line on this one like to guide me as to where the cut is supposed to be, but hopefully it's that line right there. Looks good to me. All right, and these are four by six cards, so 
that one should have been four inches or six inches and this will, will be four inches. And we can do another one right here, another four inches, which should make this last one four inches. And it is sort of four inches. Okay, still getting used to this trimmer. I have used it a handful of times. So hopefully that lines up properly. Let's move that. Oh, there are so many things at my feet. Oh my gosh, things are falling down. Okay, so more things are falling down. <laughs> Stop falling down. All right, where's the one we wanted? This one? Pretty sure it was this one. Put you right there. this way because our pocket's going to cover up this part down here. So let's do that. Oh, we could even do a ribbon instead of a magnet. Let's do that. That means I'm going to be tying a bow. You'll get to see me tie a bow. Woo! All right. All right. Okay. And then this one. go here, but it needs to be cut, let's say, right there, okay, I'm going to cut both of these at the same spot, figure out what that mark is. No, it's not. It's three and seven eighths inches. Yes, it is. All right. Let's go this way. Okay. So interesting. Don't move. All right, so we've got two of our backings for our flips. But I feel like that is so not the right measurement. Oh, that makes more sense. Bling, bling. All right. This one, because it's going to show, I need to erase the pencil mark here. All right. All right. I think, I feel like I need to trim these again. I don't think they're quite right. They're too tall. So I need to cut this part here. And this part. All right, so three and seven eighths was not adequate. So what about whatever three and six eighths is? Oh, it's <laughs> it's three and three quarters. That's what that is. All right. Did I just cut that too much. I hope not. Come here, Flappy Doo. 
Oh yeah, that's way better. There we go. All right. Also, way better. Okay. All right, so this one's done. This one. I'll move this bottom pencil mark just in case it pops through there. is being ornery. There we go. It didn't want to come out. Alright, which way was this? This way? I guess we'll find out. so pretty. It's too far down now. Uh, oh. okay. Now it's too far up. Oh my goodness. Did I put it on the wrong way? Yes. That's why. Alright. Try this again, minus the whole not wrong way part. Okay. There we go. I still got glow on my fingers. Okay, so this one is going to go here and then flip up. And then this one is going to go here. All right, so let's do this flip. Go up and down. crash. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was something. All right. So now we're going to figure out which one we want on top, but we also still need to find a back for these guys. Isn't that pretty though? I love that. I like the cascading. Could even do it this way, but that ticket is going, or that tag is going to cover that up. But, 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 all right, let's 
Yeah. That. And then we can use this little scrappy do here. Four. Sparkling water, strawberry. So I'm going to use half an inch and around the corners. Okay. And oh, it's too wide. Let's fix that real quick. Which one do we want? I want this one. I want that part. So, okay. I forgot about that part. Now we're going to round the corners again. Um, or not. Alright. Um, this trimmer like cuts the paper funny. I'm not sure if I like it. but Alright. So we'll put that there. And I keep forgetting to pin my glue. So then I've got to go back and wiggle my pin around in it. You could even make a little mini pocket with this. I'm not going to. Set that aside. Center that up. to look for the brows while I'm sitting here yapping and I don't think it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> nope. I know I have them. I've got a whole boatload of them. But, uh, oh, you can also do um, not only brads, but you could do um, flat dies. I have a lot of those. Very handy because I make the, the heart or the heart, the flower clusters. And this is brown. This brown would be pretty. I like the brown. And the cream as well. That'd be cute. I think I like the brown one better. Alright, um, over there. Alright, so let's grab a couple of these. Alright, now we're actually going to have to glue this down now. Okay. 
just rubbing some of that extra glue that was smeared out, out off. Okay. So we've got ourselves a little pocket. And then normally I would E6000 this, but so many people have told me how great this is on everything. So we're going to try it here and now. I'll fill in that little hole right there. And this is where tweezers would come in, in handy. A great deal. Oh, that has a lot of excess glue. Don't like that. I'm going to take some of that off. The other side. I mean, it dries clear, so I don't think it really matters, but yeah, let's get some of that back on there. Okay. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, so let's find a couple mats for these. Now, we could do pretty plain mats. Like, I still have this one here. We could do that. I think that would be pretty. Let's do that. So, what's the size on this? It is four by four. So, I need three and three quarter by three and three quarter. All right. So there's the three and three quarter. three and three quarter by which is going to be big enough oh it is three and three quarter Woo yay I don't know if I like this trimmer it keeps tearing my paper I think I'm just going to grab my big one. Because I was grabbing the small one because, well, it's small. But I've got another small one. But it also tears my paper, which is why I got that one. Um, but the other one tears my paper because it needs a new blade. All right. So let's make sure there's no pencil marks on here because I like to draw my paper. Uh, looks good. And then And you can definitely ink these edges if you wanted to. I'm not going to because I'm not necessarily going for a vintage look here. I'm just going for a nice, cute fall album. And I do cutesy sometimes. I know it might surprise some of you newer guys, but I started in cutesy. I loved the cute stuff. I never really got into character though, like uh, doing character things, but just generalize like penguins for Christmas or winter or whatever. Oh man, I loved it. I remember one year I did a, um, like a pink and teal um, penguin. I still have some of the stuff left. It was just the cutest ever. Like everything I did that year was in that pink and teal cutesy Christmas stuff. It was just, it was adorable. All right, 
So now we're going to put this one on top and then we're going to put this one underneath it. And it's going to sit like that. How cute is that? I love it. All right. So I'm going to do this one first. And you'll notice that I'm using a lot of wet glue for this. Um, you can definitely use double sided tape or score tape or whatever. Um, but after many years of using tape, I find that wet glue is easier for alignment issues or alignment purposes. You can very easily align things up with the wet glue. And if you miss, you can scooch with the wet glue. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one right here that and you could even put something right there if you wanted to if you wanted to put lace or something right there you could Looks good. Minus the fact that glue spilled out now. I've got to wipe it off my photo mat. As long as you catch it before it dries, it's really easy to just wipe right off. Okay. And then that is it. And I think I do want to put a ribbon here. Um, Let's see, what do I have? Um, I've got this, that's sticker ribbon. I don't want that. Oh, what do I want? I'm trying to think of what I've got right here on my, I've got white. White would work. So we're going to put it right here. Look, I made a bow tie. Although it's not straight, that's okay. It doesn't really need to be straight at this particular moment in time. I just need it to sit in position. Just right there. Okay. Kind of tack that down. All right, so it's going to hold its spot. And if you really want to hold its spot, you can just put a piece of tape right there because it's all getting glued down. Um, I think we'll do that just to double check or just to double ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. Put one there and oi, oi, let go. And one there. And then we're going to take this whole kit and caboodle and we're going to glue it down right there. Just like that. So let's scoot up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're just going to take this whole thing and glue it straight down there. But I'm going to trim these up a little bit. 
I'll even them up in a minute, but right now they're in my way. So I just put some tight right here on the sides. I also glued it down in the middle. This whole caboodle is fixing to get down. I'm going to move this tape. Um, I'm just going to move it over just a smidge because this fabric tape is not really going to hold this tape. It's going to hold the board or the, the paper. Looks like I hold much of anything if it doesn't come out the bottle. There we go. And give yourself some spew room because when you put it down, it's going to squish. And I did not do that on this side here. Like a whoopsie. Some of that over that ribbon. All right. All right. Now. We're going to take the whole thing, we're going to line it up, make sure we're upright. nice and secure and we have our first page done. So, what do you guys think? So we got the spine fixed and altered. Uh, we got our cover piece, which uh, by the way, I love. Again, this is from Gramsie's shop and I will put that link in the description for you guys. And then we got the end pieces, both the front and the back. We put our pages in the book, and then we decorated our first page. Check that out. I love this. I think this turned out super cute. And these are just kind of all over the place at the moment. I'm going to have to, like, paper clip them in or something. Um, I can do that later. But I thought this turned out super cute. Got your little bow tie here, and then you got a photo mat here. You could put a photo on top of this. You could journal on either side. And then you've got this side here and your pocket. And we will put something in the pocket. But I think that turned out really cute. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Today is a longer video, um, as you are well aware. And there's my very sideways bow tie because I make funky bow ties. Um, I do it better when I do it upside down. Does anybody else do that? Like you make your bow ties better when you're upside down. Maybe it's just me because I can't tie bow ties. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.